Hey guys, Anthony here from Mashup Math. And thank you again for stopping by on this lesson where I'm going to show you how to use a tree diagram to figure out how many different outfits you have in your wardrobe. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us on this lesson where we are going to explore how we can use tree diagrams to find possible outcomes. So let's start off with a really easy question. How many possible outcomes are there to flipping a coin? Well, we should know that we only have two possible outcomes. We can either get heads or we can get tails. But what about the possible number of outcomes for flipping a coin twice in a row? Now to find the possible number of outcomes here, we're going to construct a tree diagram. So our first flip, we're either going to end up with heads or with tails. So if our first flip is heads, then our second flip has two options. And again, those options are heads or tails. And the same goes if our first flip lands on tails. Our second flip has two options, again, either heads or tails. So now our completed tree diagram will help us to find the exact number of possible outcomes for this scenario. One outcome is heads on the first flip and heads on the second flip. Another is heads on the first flip and tails on the second flip. You could also get tails on the first flip and heads on the second flip or you could get tails on the first and second flip. And we see here that we have one, two, three, four possible outcomes for this scenario of flipping a coin twice in a row. Ooh. So now we're ready to extend our understanding of tree diagrams to a more complex example where we're going to help Josh figure out how many different outfits he can make with what he has in his wardrobe. So what we're looking to find is what is the total number of different combinations of outfits that we can make with the following choices. So he has three tops, a blue t-shirt, a gray hoodie, and a red plaid dress shirt. He also has two pairs of jeans to choose from, blue jeans and black jeans. And finally, he has three pairs of sneakers, which are running shoes, casual shoes, and high tops. So now with these options in mind, we're ready to construct a tree diagram to explore how many different combinations exist for his outfit. So let's start off with tops first. He has three choices. So we have three branches and one is the blue t-shirt, one is the gray hoodie, and one is the red plaid dress shirt. Now for each top, there are two options for jeans. So we make two branches from each option for a top and show either the blue jeans or the black jeans. And finally, each pair of jeans has three options for sneakers. So I draw three branches from each pair and include each option of sneaker. So now we have completed our tree diagram and now we can use it to figure out the total number of possible combinations. Now, for example, one of these outfit combinations is the blue t-shirt with black jeans and casual sneaker. Another possible outfit combination would be the red plaid shirt with black jeans and the high top sneaker. And we can figure out the total number of different outfit combinations by counting all of the shoes in the bottom branches of the tree diagram. And if we count all of these shoes, we should get a total of 18 different outfit combinations. Now here's a little shortcut for finding this total number without actually constructing a tree diagram. Notice if we take three, the total number of tops, two, the total number of gene choices, and three, the total number of sneakers, and multiply those three values together, three times two times three, okay? We know that three times two is just six, and six times three is equal to 18 which was the total number of outfit combinations that we found by using the tree diagram. So just be aware of how to construct the tree diagram to represent scenarios like this, and also be aware of the fact that you can multiply the number of choices together, and that product will represent the total number of combinations for whatever it is you're looking at. 
So in this scenario, Josh had 18 outfit combination choices, and it looks like he went with the red plaid shirt with black jeans and high tops. Not bad, looking good. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks again, guys. I'm glad that you like our video lessons. If you don't know, we have an awesome, awesome, really awesome Instagram page, at MashUpMath. That's the first thing we ever started with. So we have some really cool sports math posts. We do daily math tips, all kinds of study tips, tips for parents, tips for teachers. You're really going to like it. Very artistic, very colorful, very vibrant, very cool. Check it out. See you next time.